Hello and welcome. This is Florian Wilk. Today I'm seeing Janis. He's a real estate agent in Paphos in Cyprus. And uh, if you like this interview, please don't forget to give a thumbs up for the video and also subscribe to my channel if you're interested in moving to Cyprus, real estate in Cyprus, tax optimization. So you will get always the latest information and to be informed when I publish a new video. And today my guest is Janis from Paphos. He's a real estate agent. Hi Janis. Hi. Good to see you again. Tell Good me please, um, introduce yourself. Um, who are you? What you're doing? Hi, my name is Janis Georgiou. Uh, I'm from Paphos. I was living in Budapest for 12 years. I moved back end of 2016. And the reason that I moved back because I miss my island, I miss my family, my my city. So today I will tell you many many reasons to come to live to this island that is Cyprus and my city Paphos. Okay, very good. So um, since when are you back in Cyprus? End of uh, 2016. I choose to start a full-time real estate to develop my skills. And you are um, in Paphos area or in whole Cyprus, which, um, in which locations no, my are you base, My base is in Paphos. I work in Paphos market. Uh, we have a different projects that we work. Um, resale, uh, commercial, uh, residential and uh, land. And also we work with a lot of villas for rent and apartments. Mm, okay, so as I understood, you have also investors who are purchasing land to develop this land, building residential villa projects, apartments, but also if someone um, is moving to Cyprus, they need um, an apartment or a villa, you help them with the rental or a purchase. At the moment we have in uh, the center of Pavos one project that uh, belongs to, to a person from UK uh, is uh, six uh, appa luxury apartments in the center of Pavos is a three story and um, we built for the investor uh, we management the building and uh, we try to give the best quality for our client Okay, about this project, um, I know that you have also some smart home system, underflow heating. Tell me a bit more about the quality. Yes, it's our idea with this uh, Amelia Court uh, is to make to our clients when they buy this apartment more easier the life and, and, and more smart. What is me smart? Uh, we give security, we give lifestyle, we give easy living of uh, life. Example, the smart technology is when you are abroad or you are work and you want to go to your apartments and you need uh, to have a fast water heating, you can work everything with the apps uh, in the phone. So or you are abroad, you have the options to, to watch from the communal cameras who is going in, who is going out. If you let a light open, you can switch off from your phone, you can open the AC, you can manage, you can, you can have the underfloor heating. So our idea is to make our client more easier the life for them. Okay, very good. I think not <coughs> not many projects in Cyprus have this smart home system, which I think people from abroad expect nowadays to have. Yes. Right, it's a nice feature. Okay, so Janis, from your experience, um, what is the main reasons why people move to Cyprus or to Paphos from abroad? Um, what do you think? What is the advantage of Cyprus from your clients, from your experience? Our clients, when they want to move to Cyprus, there is many, many reasons 
they want to move like a lot of benefits. First of all, they want to have a, a easy life. They want to live in a city that there is less traffic. Mm -hmm. They want to to swim in a clean beaches. So we have nice, beautiful beaches from Yeroskibu to National Park uh, Akamas that is in Polis. Uh, we have international school that the most of the kids they are coming here to study and uh, to have a high education. Uh, we have very good quality of food, but the most important is the hospitality that they have the people in Paphos, that they don't have other uh, cities in Cyprus. This is my opinion. Of course, yeah. <laughs> And uh, there's also, of course, some other advantages in Cyprus, like the tax system, which is very entrepreneur-friendly, yes. right? Uh, but I think also the lifestyle, the hospitality, this package is the most important. <coughs> this is actually um, the main reason why people choose Cyprus. It's very safe and um, yeah, it's a very good location. Paphos is a family town. Mm -hmm. For the family, it's perfect location. Mm -hmm to leave uh, the people here with the kids. The crime is very less. Hmm. So, uh, Pavos is also the morphology of the city. You can find mountain and the sea in a short distance uh, by car. Yeah, that's true. I like also the combination sea, mountain view, and it's very nice. Yes. Mm. And uh, your clients usually from abroad, let's say, they are coming from which countries? Um, it's very mixed or is there specific specific regions people are coming from? I have clients uh, from China, mm -hmm. I have uh, from Dubai, mm -hmm. uh, English, nowadays we have Germans, oh. <laughs> clients that uh, they are coming, they visit Cyprus and they want to stay and to set up the companies here for many reasons. It's also the tax, the, the good weather, the lifestyle. Uh, they want to live in a more normal, more um, easy life. They don't want to be in a crowding places. Like I was living in Budapest and I choose to come back because Cyprus is one of the most beautiful island in Mediterranean and also in the world. So, Janis, um, tell me more about the COVID situation. It's a big topic, of course, but briefly to understand how the situation is um, dealt with in Cyprus. How do you experience? Is it very strict? Um, what is the situation right now? Uh, the, the last 16 months that is in our life, COVID, uh, of course, the first lockdown for it, it was for everyone in the world. Uh, after the first uh, lockdown, Cyprus government management very good the things. We was very less cases. We are we was the fifth country in the world that we wo we was safe. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I know from from my clients from China from my uh, friends from from Hungary or clients from abroad that uh, they was wait uh, as soon as possible to open the airports to move to Cyprus because how I understand uh, the COVID here uh, in Cyprus, uh, the government uh, they didn't want to have the people, the population very strict like the other countries. Of course, we was wear mask. Uh, the most of the populations now at the moment we we are in the 60 percent with a double vaccination. Mm. So Cyprus, uh, it wasn't so strict like the other countries. Mm. They have a very uh, heavy lockdowns and um, and uh, people they can't go out from the house 
uh, Cyprus uh, give the options in the second lockdown people to go uh, four times uh, per day outside. Mm -hmm. They can go to make sport, they can go for shopping, always to wear the mask to be safe for everyone. Uh, but uh, what they told me, my clients from abroad, that Cyprus, it was the place in the COVID period to live. Mm. I agree. Not so strict and not so over-regulated like uh, other places, right? So also outside, you don't have to wear a mask, for example, just yes, in the outside, shop, right? No, mm. just inside to the shop. Mm. You can wear a mask, uh, but now on the things is going better because in, in Pavos, uh, we are the first city in vaccination. Mm -hmm. We have 73% uh, uh, the population have the double vaccination. Mm -hmm. So it's going well the things in Cyprus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you expect any uh, new travel restrictions or lockdown in the future? I mean, it's hard to tell, of course, but what is your personal opinion or expectation? No, my opinion, no. From now on, we start to be, to come again in normal uh, life. Mm. The uh, people, day by day, they have more and more in Cyprus vacci vaccination, so uh, we come in a few months, I believe that the life, it, it will be a normal again. Mm. Okay, let's hope so. <laughs> okay. So if someone wants to relocate to Cyprus, wants to move to Cyprus, what does your service include? How do you work? What is the steps from the first touch point till the, let's say, sale or um, rental of the property? How do you work? First, when we have a, a, the first touch with the clients, it's our job is to make the clients to feel safe and to trust. Uh, when we meet in the office, we sit down the first appointment and we get some details how they imagine the house they want to rent and which location it purpose. Mm -hmm. People, example, the, Germ the last two clients, Germans, they ask me they want something quiet and peaceful. And I show them the Google map that in Paphos, the most peaceful and quiet location is Coral Bay, Bay, Bay and Municipality. So they like when I show them in locations, in Google, they like, and I give to them eight options of villas. Um, the second day we go there, we traveling, we see the eight villas, and then the clients, they told me, Yannis, we are interested about this villa. Uh, we sit down with the owner, we discuss further about uh, the contract, about the price, about uh, who it will make the maintenance mm -hmm. at home, the pool, the garden. When we discuss everything and we solve uh, in the contract what we write, the client is happy, they sign the contract, they give the deposit, so we go my responsibility like an agent, I took the clients with the contract, we go to electricity authorities, we connect the electricity, mm -hmm. it was for us 10 minutes, mm -hmm. Very good. then we go the, se the same day we go to uh, internet uh, office, they see the package, they choose which uh, package they want to get, we make the contract, they told us that next day they will come to connect, they call me next day the internet, they come and they connect uh, fast and we connect the same day also the water in Bea municipality. So the clients, in one day, they sign the contract and we connect everything in one day. It's very fast, especially internet. I know in some countries it takes much longer <coughs> than one day. 
when I'm coming to Cyprus and um, I make the decision to move here, to relocate to Cyprus, how much time should I calculate in order to, let's say, from the first contact with you to move in? You, should you come one month before, one week before, half a year before? How long does it take usually till you meet the client and they can move in in the property? Let's say in a rental property, of course. When uh, I have the details for the clients one week before, when they arrive to Cyprus, we have two, three days to see properties and then we have a fast track to rent and to connect in one day everything. Mm -hmm. So the clients, uh, they don't do nothing because I'm next to them 24 hours mm -hmm. for the days that they are in my city, so they we go fast, we connect electricity, SIDA and water. And is and also when I would go there, I speak with the owner to make a general cleaning the house before the clients go inside mm -hmm. to make maintenance of the air condition because maybe uh, the house can be closed for a few months. Mm -hmm. We make the eye management. I go, I see that the owners, they bring cleaners mm -hmm. and then the new owners, they can use the house immediately. So we need two, three days maximum okay. to... Very fast. And usually is there a time in the year where it's better or easier to come because maybe in summer there is not many properties available, it's better to move in winter or um, it doesn't matter. What is, your <coughs> what is your experience? My opinion about the period, about the sales and rent mm -hmm. uh, for clients is to come April until middle of June mm -hmm. or the best period is beginning of September until middle of November. Okay. It's the best period to visit Cyprus to to have a tour about the properties and to get opinion about the Cyprus market. Mm -hmm. Okay, because summer is too hot it's and too, too hot. crowded. Yes. And winter is maybe not the most pleasant time from the climate, even though it's warm in winter in Cyprus, but of course not like in not like September in July or August. July. <laughs> and um, what do you think are you doing different than other real estate agents? What is your philosophy, um, like uh, what you do in a special way? It's not my philosophy, it's how you give the best service to the client. Mm. It's the most important. When you have sales or rent, you have to give exactly the documents. Mm -hmm. Example, when we make to this to these people from Germany, the rent, except the contract, is my responsibility to collect all the documents about the title deeds, mm -hmm. about uh, to be clear that this is the owner, belong to him, and uh, it's not about philosophy, it's must the real estate agents to give the best services for the clients and always to be, uh, to give trust. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you don't give the best service, so the client, it will be unhappy. Mm -hmm. And it's our, our, our thoughts is always the people to be happy and to feel safe. Mm -hmm. And my job is to make people, they move to Cyprus from the beginning to feel safe and happy. Mm -hmm. This is the idea of my, of my job. Mm, of course. And uh, do you help also with um, maintenance companies, finding <coughs> finding a pool company or garden company? Can you help also with this? Yes, company? it's always we support the clients if they have uh, to maintenance the pool. We give four or five options mm -hmm. with the companies. They can get offer, they can discuss with them to see about the chemicals, what they use in the pool, uh, the garden, but normally in Cyprus, the prices for the maintenance is the same. 
it depends the person who it will make your maintenance. But always, uh, yes, we give to the clients four or five options. Uh, we call them, we make them also a small interview to ask them what chemicals you use, mm -hmm. uh, how many times you come per week, per month. So after the clients choose which it will clean or it will make maintenance a gut. Okay, mm -hmm. understood. I personally experience there's many people coming from the um, online business or who run an online business um, like e-commerce or online marketing or other uh, online business. Um, what about the internet? Uh, many people I think uh, avoid a little bit about the internet speed in Cyprus. Um, for Paphos region, what do you think? What is your experience with the internet speed? Uh, my experience the last four uh, rental um, uh, houses, uh, they rent people that they work in online business, in mm -hmm. online marketing. Mm -hmm. And when we go to CEDA, that is one of the biggest company in internet, in Cyprus, in Telecom. Mm -hmm. Uh, they found that it's quite strong the internet in Cyprus mm. and now uh, they connect the 5G, they connect the cables under the road so they make uh, faster and stronger. Mm. Uh, example, uh, if they ask for 100 me uh, megabit? megabits, they can found easily. Okay. They mm. come found because the most of them they ask for uploads and this and that, and they see that it's, it's quite strong the the mm. internet for for the business. So they are very happy because they didn't wait about Cyprus, but in then when they see the internet uh, contract and they give them from 30 to 100, 120, they are happy and always they get the highest uh, contract because of the business, because the most of them, they work every day from home. Sure. And here's something which I experienced myself is that you actually get the speed which is on the contract. So you don't only get promised 100 Mbit, you get 100 Mbit. This is very important. Yes, they mm. get w what they paid. Mm. Because now on uh, Cyprus, uh, we are in technology of 5G the last seven, eight months. So when Europe, European uh, Union move forward with technology and also Cyprus move mm. on with technology because yeah. we are part of European Union. Mm. So different before 20 years and different in 2021. Yeah, sure. I also think it's a it changed a lot and it became much, much better and um, for online business, even if it's a streamer or a YouTuber or this kind of business, there's many in Cyprus and uh, there's no issues with internet whatsoever, unless you live up in the high mountain, right? <laughs> yes, up to the... But it, it starts to change also, mm -hmm. up to the mountains. Uh, but this is the reason uh, the last two years a lot of online companies they move to Cyprus mm. because they see about the internet that is strong and because it's strong, let's go to live in this nice, beautiful island with a good lifestyle and, uh, and many reasons to spend your time here. Yeah. Tell me more about the schools, please, um, about the international schools uh, in Paphos um, for families to understand better about the options for the kids. In, in Paphos, we have uh, three private schools. It's the TLC, the Aspire and the International School of Paphos. Um, for me, that I see the last years and what I recognize from our clients that they have the kids in the international school that they told me they have a high education. Uh, the last year in Cyprus they moved a lot of Chinese peoples from 2013 
continuously they move here in Cyprus and they have the kids uh, to international schools because our international schools connect with the English universities. Mm -hmm. So there is one of the reasons that they bring the kids here is after they finish the international school, they can go easily to study in UK universities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very important uh, point. Yeah. So how many years um, the kids have to go to school here, like um, until which grade? First, the public with the international school is two different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the primary school in the public school for six years, mm -hmm. and we have in secondary and high school another six years. Mm -hmm. In international school, they study six years in the primary school and seven years to uh, secondary and high school. They study seven years. Um, The examinations is very strict. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not about it's a private school and you pay it so you pass. A lot of students from abroad, example the Chinese in the beginning they came and they have a lot of uh, problems about the language. The, that I know from the international school of Pavos, they support them, they give them tablets, they teach them Uh, English uh, 24 hours they have a, they have a, a teachers from abroad that mm -hmm. is very important the teachers to speak the mother language English mm -hmm. so for me um, they there is high education in international schools because uh, when you study international schools, you, you, you met not just with Chinese, you met with Russians, with English, with Germans, so you study and you learn also a multi-culture sure. hmm. uh, when you are with different nations. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the benefits also for the international school in Pavazad. They study Chinese, Russians, English and locals also, Cypriot, mm -hmm. they study in International School of Papos. Mm, okay, and the school fees approximately in which area are they? How much is uh, mm -hmm. around per year? It starts from uh, 5.500 to 7.000 mm, okay. per year. Mm, okay, good. International School of Papos. Uh, they have very high facilities, they have an indoor pool, mm -hmm. they have a football uh, field, they have um, involved also a kindergarten on the school, mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, the building is brand new, mm -hmm. so the facility is new, they have security, uh, They have um, for the kids uh, to to eat and uh, uh, rooms to relax. They have uh, accommodations. Some kids, example, some English uh, families, uh, they work abroad in Arab countries. Mm -hmm. So they let the kids here. There is accommodation. Mm -hmm. They study here. The kids. And the parents, they work in, in abroad. Mm. So, coming to the real estate, um, if someone comes to Cyprus, what can they expect? What quality of properties? What type of properties? Um, of course, there's villas, apartments, townhouses close to the sea, in the mountains. What is usually the, the best options for someone who want to relocate to Cyprus, um, what do you recommend? And also, please give an idea about the market prices just for someone who might, uh, doesn't know the um, market in Cyprus at all, to have an idea about the budget you need for something very luxury, for some middle-class villa, or maybe for some studio apartment, just to give an idea about the market in Paphos. 
Of course, if you are searching to rent next to the sea, always the prices is very high. Mm. Uh, na nowadays, the most expensive um, properties is property that is next to the sea. And uh, the most of the people, they ask property next to the sea. Mm -hmm. Because, and the reason they live in a country that without sea, so they want to have the chance when they are coming to Cyprus to live next to the sea and to wake up every morning and to see the blue uh, sky and the blue of the sea. So, uh, of course, the prices to be next to the sea can start from 1,500 to 7,000, 8,000 euro. Mm -hmm. If you search to live in, in the city, the prices is more cheaper, which be about 1,000, 1,200. If you, you want to move to the mountains, there you can find prices from 700 to 900 euro. It depends on the location, it depends which uh, place. Example, Coral Bay is one of the most expensive uh, places in Paphos. And the reason is quiet location, mm -hmm. nice nature place, you can find mountains, sea in a short distance, it's not so crowding place. So Coral Bay, Bay municipality is more expensive because you are you have more privacy mm -hmm. to live there. Mm -hmm. um, for me, nowadays, uh, it's also we living with the coronavirus. The good properties in Pavos, the prices is not fell down because the good properties is a good quality of materials. Mm. And nowadays, a lot of uh, uh, good uh, properties is coming to the market. Uh, new villas, uh, new, new design, new, new material, because from now on, Cyprus, what we discussed before also with the internet that we we have fast internet and we make a step forward. Now in Cyprus, we, the, from 2015, they built with energy efficiency. If someone is specifically coming for the non-domicile, for the non-dom, um, of course it makes sense not only to rent for 17 years uh, for these tax advantages and a property, but also to purchase. And um, some people, they literally spend 60 days here in Cyprus and the rest of the year they like to travel or they have a second or third place of residence. Um, do you offer for such people who want to purchase a property and to rent it out the rest of the year, do you offer services like holiday rentals on Airbnb and other platforms? Can you help with these things? Yes, uh, our job is to support the clients. Of course, any client wants to buy a property for investment and he wants to make for a, a rent house or for a short term business. Mm. Of course, we manage the property. We organize uh, for the clients um, uh, Example the Airbnb um, or the um, Booking.com to to rent there the property. We manage every time to clean the property when they rent um, clients mm -hmm. to pay the bills and to give them best service for the. Okay. For the client. And if someone wants to purchase a property and uh, needs a mortgage, uh, do you help also to go through the 
mortgage procedure with the banks? Yes, it's always we have the, the, our clients, some of them they want a mortgage, uh, people that uh, they live, example, in Europe and they don't live here, they need to have the 30% of the amount that they will buy the, the property. So mm -hmm. when they have the 30%, we management to go to the bank to bring the bank, it will ask all the documents about the clients Mm -hmm. where work, um, criminal records, mm -hmm. um, how much he get every month. So we organize, we collect all the documents, we pass to the bank, and then the bank, uh, we try to, to discuss about the mortgage and how much they are. Maybe they will ask less than 30%. Normally, they ask from 20% to 30%. Okay. Mm. Okay, very good. So you offer, let's say, the complete package, not only to sell the property, but also to help with to mortgage, the property, yes. holiday rentals, everything. Yes, a package that is our job to do, and we do in a very good way. Tell me more about the lifestyle in Paphos, um, what people can do in their spare time with sports, um, hiking, nature, what does Paphos offer? Every day if you go early in the morning uh, in Paphos Harbor, you see a lot of people, not locals, also international, they can walk or they can run in next to the sea. We have very nice uh, path, uh, side path uh, in, in the sea. Mm -hmm. um, there is a three, four golf resorts in Paphos. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of British also, they live here. Mm -hmm. So they use the golf resorts. Mm -hmm. They play everyday golf. Um, you can go to National Park of Agamas. You can visit uh, the beaches, uh, that uh, in Agama that we have uh, uh, with turtles, uh, we have in Paphos they born they born the Careta Careta, mm -hmm. so there is some special beaches that the turtles they born there. Mm -hmm. um, there is the golf resort. We say you can go to to run to the seaside. Um, there is a tennis court, there is um, a lot of football, football teams here in Pavos that a lot of kids they can go and, and be part of the team and they can have a sport. We, we have um, a Olympic uh, pools mm -hmm. that they do training, you can swim. Um, you can use the forest, there is very nice uh, path in, in the forest in Banaya, you can feel the mouflons mm -hmm. in the forest when you walk. So there is many, many reasons that you have so many things to do in, in Pavos when you are living here in this city. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. Sounds very good. <laughs> okay. You see the mouflons? Uh, no, I didn't see them. <laughs> I so a lot of times I walk and they pass next to me the mouflons. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. They're wild or no? No, they afraid you. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to feel. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. Cool. What about the cuisine in Paphos? There's many, many restaurants, of course. Yes, um, of course you can find the, the traditional restaurants mm -hmm. that when you are in Cyprus, you have to try souvlaki, chef talia, halloumi, that is our traditional cheese, uh, the Cyprus salad. Uh, but also we have an international kitchen also. A lot of restaurants we have in, in Pavos, we have Italian restaurants, mm -hmm. we have a Chinese restaurants, we have Indian restaurants. Um, and uh, 
the people here they have a lot of choice when they go out for dinner to choose any kitchen they like. Mm. We you can find very good restaurants in the seaside. You can find also very nice uh, restaurant in the center of Paphos. Mm -hmm. Now on, uh, we didn't say that Paphos 2017 was the European uh, uh, European cultural city 2017. The mayor the mayor of Paphos uh, make the city to looks beautiful. They make new roads, new squares um, in the old city, so you can work there. You can have your coffee or your lunch or your dinner. You can enjoy it, the food and the quality that we have in Hafos. Yeah, and I think it's Hannes of fish restaurants, right? I think there's so many fish restaurants in Paphos yeah, in the area. <laughs> I, I think there is around 30, 40 fish uh, Yeah, it's a lot really. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so seafood is the best choice uh, in Paphos, I think. Yes, really seafood, a lot. Mm. of course the traditional food is, uh, is, very, is very tasty. We have the Italian restaurants. Mm. The people, they move here, they have a lot of uh, choices to go out and to choose from fish, from meat. Also, we start to have now a ve vegan mm -hmm. restaurants. Uh, they have many choices. Very good. So, for someone um, who is planning to move to Cyprus to relocate, um, how can they get in touch with you? What is what they have to do in order to meet you to see property options? First, they can send me an email. Mm -hmm. They can, I can apply to them fast. I will ask them when they will be in Cyprus, so to prepare everything. Uh, my job, they are coming, the clients in Cyprus. We have a tour in my city. I show them different places. I will can show them the archaeologic places in Gadopafos, domes, I show them the city, I show them the history that is very important when you go somewhere, you have to know the culture and, and then when we make a tour and they see the city, after we discuss which, which property they search exactly and which place. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, guys, if you are interested in seeing property options in Paphos, um, you will find below the video an email address um, how you can reach Janis and contact him and um, he will take over from them and uh, show you the best options in Paphos. So, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below that video. We are answering every comment, of course. Maybe you have a question or you want to know more about the property market in Paphos. And don't forget to give thumbs up for the video, leave a like, and also subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends, business partners, family who are interested in Cyprus, in moving abroad, in tax optimization. And uh, in this way, you can also help me to grow my channel to reach 10,000 subscribers. This is my aim. Thank you so much for your and time. And we wait them in Cyprus. Yes, we await you in Cyprus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much, Yanis. Pleasure to meet you and nice uh, to meet you. see you very, very soon. Yeah? Thank Take you care. so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.